Hello and welcome to another session of Let's Learn German. I hope you revised the previous lessons and also are now ready to learn something new. Today we are going to do another important aspect, nomen and pronomen in nominative. As you know, nomen means noun, pronomen means pronoun, nominative you know is a subject case. Now let us look at this table. Here you have definite article which are called bestimmte article and you know the definite article in German are der for masculine, the for feminine, das for neutral and the for plural and you are also familiar with these pronouns er which is for masculine, z is for feminine, s is for neutral and z again for plural. Now we will see how these are derived from the definite articles especially for pronouns like z and z. However, I would like to tell you that there are four z's in German out of which two z's are here which start with a small s as you can see here. So we have the z here which is in feminine which is singular and the z here which is in plural which is third person plural. Also if you want to understand how definite article gets converted into pronoun you have to just closely follow the ending of the definite article. So as you can see in the definite article there the ending AR or ER is used to replace the noun and convert it into a pronoun with AR or R. Similarly for the pronoun Z we take the ending of IE or EA from the definite article D and add an S to it which makes it Z. For the pronoun S we use the S from the definite article thus and then add an ES to it. Similarly, in the same way we did the pronoun for the definite article feminine D, the same method is applied also for the plural article D and the pronoun is used here is C. Now let us look at the sentences. Here we have the sentence we heist the man. The answer is er heist Herr Bosch. Now as you can see the here the part der man is underlined and der man is the noun which is replaced by the pronoun er. In the second sentence wo wohnt the Frau the answer is Z wohnt in Hyderabad here the article and the noun the Frau is replaced by the pronoun Z. Also I would like to tell you that you might see that S is written here capital which we know that whenever we start a sentence the first letter is always in the capital case. Now let us look at this sentence. Wo ist das Buch? S is here. Das Buch, the noun das Buch is replaced here by the pronoun S. Wo sind die Schuhe? Here the plural die Schuhe, the shoes is replaced by again the plural pronoun sie sind im Garten. So you have two z's here, z in singular and z in plural, both in third person. However, the s in both as you can see are written in capital letter which is because we are beginning the sentence here. Otherwise, please remember the z in third person singular and the z in third person plural are always small. Only the z in the second person singular and plural are written with the S in capital. Now we will do a small exercise and then the student would write the answers and we would see if the answers are right or wrong.
Now let us look at the answers given by the student and see if the answers are right or wrong. Wo ist das Kind? Es ist in der Schule. As you can see, the student has written the correct pronoun for the noun das Kind, which is S. The answer is correct. Woher kommt der Mann? Er kommt aus Delhi. Here also, the student has written the correct pronoun er for the noun der Mann, which is the right answer. Was nimmt die Studentin? Sie nimmt ein Buch. Here, the student has written the correct answer where the student replaced the noun with the pronoun Z and also as you can see the S is written in capital letter which shows that the sentence begins here. Was macht die Frau? Sie schreibt eine E-Mail. Here also the student like in the previous example wrote the correct pronoun for the noun die Frau and also with the capital letter S. Was machen die Kinder? Sie spielen im Park. Here the student has also written the correct pronoun which is for plural as you know for the article die. In the same way, wo sind die Bücher? Sie sind im Büro. Here also the student has written the correct pronoun for the plural article die. So as you can see the student wrote all the answers in the correct manner. So, like our student, you too can learn the nouns and the pronouns in nominative in the correct manner if you learn the table which we did at the beginning of the session. Now, let us move on to the other aspects of noun and pronoun in accusative. Now, in this segment, we are going to do nouns and pronouns which we have done already in nominative. We are also going to do the same in accusative. Now let us look at the table here. You are already familiar with this table. Here we have under the category nominative the definite article there and the pronoun er and you are already familiar with the definite article masculine in accusative which is den and as you can see the nominative pronoun er gets converted into in in accusative which is marked here with the blue pen. Now let us look here under the feminine article the article the which remains the as you know in accusative and the pronoun for the article is c which is in nominative which also remains the same in accusative. Also thus article which is for the neutral gender it has got the pronoun s and the same form remains in accusative also. Here also for the plural article d and its corresponding pronoun z they retain the same form in accusative. So as you can see except for the masculine gender the feminine neutral gender as well as the plural have the same articles also the same pronouns in nominative as well as accusative. It is only in the case of masculine article that we have def changes happening in nominative as well as in accusative. Now let us do some examples where we learn the change of noun and pronoun from nominative to accusative. Please look at this sentence. Kaufs du das Auto? You are already familiar with this structure. The answer for this is ja ich kaufe es. Now please look at this sentence. Here we have du which is a pronoun in nominative das Auto which is in accusative marked by a and as you can see the answer is ish kaufe s. Here we have the pronoun ish and which is in nominative and we have the pronoun s which is in accusative which is replacing the noun das auto in accusative. In the same way we have this sentence schreibst du eine email? Ja, ich 
Schreiber Z. Here again the accusative answer in the question eine email is replaced by the pronoun Z in accusative and du which is the nominative here in the question is replaced by that nominative ish here in the answer. Hörst du den Mann? Nein, ich höre ihn nicht. Here as you can see du is nominative, den Mann is accusative and here den Mann which is an accusative is converted to pronoun in in accusative and the nominative here is ish. So, we have the sentence ich höre ihn nicht. Lernst du die Wörter? Ja, ich lerne sie. Here we have die Wörter which means the words in plural con being converted to pronoun sie and the nominative du in the question is replaced by nominative ish. If you look at sentence number 2 and sentence number 4, you will see that z and z remain the same in their form. That means s and s are small. Therefore, whenever you are writing z for third person singular and z for third person plural, the s is always written in small letter. Now, let us do some exercises and the student will write here the answers and we will see if the answers are right or wrong. Now, let us look at the answers given by our student and check if the answers are right or wrong. Kauft ihr das Motorrad? Ja, wir kaufen es. As you can see here in the sentence, das Motorrad, which is an accusative, has been replaced by the pronoun accusative es. And as you can see here, ihr is a nominative. And here in the answer, wir is in the nominative. So, the answer given by the student is right. Now, let us look at sentence number 2. Hören Sie die Nachrichten? Ja, ich höre Sie. If you see, here the student has replaced the noun in accusative, die Nachrichten, and converted into a pronoun Sie in accusative. Therefore, the answer is correct. And as you can see, Ish is here in nominative and Z is also here in nominative. Now, let us move to question number 3. Fragt er den Lehrer? Ja, er fragt ihn. So, here the student has replaced the accusative noun den Lehrer into accusative pronoun in which is in the masculine gender category. Also, as you can see, the nominative in the question er remains in the same in the answer also which is er which is the subject. Machst du die Aufgabe? Ja, ich mache sie. Here also the student has replaced the noun in accusative with the pronoun in accusative which is z. Also as you can see the z in both number 2 and number 4 begin with the small s. Now let us look at number sentence number 5. Lernst du die Vokabel? Ja, ich lerne sie. As you can see here the student correctly figured out that here the noun is in plural and therefore wrote the correct pronoun for the plural in accusative which is sie beginning with 
small s. Also, here as you can see in the sentence, do is in nominative and in here also in this sentence, ish is nominative. Can't hear the loiter. Here the verb kennen means to know, the loiter means people and as you can see since it is a plural noun, the student has written the correct pronoun for this plural noun which is z with small s here and wear is the nominative here and in the question ear is the nominative. So, as you can see our student did all the questions correctly and gave the right answer. Like our student you too can give all the answers in the correct manner if you revise your verbs, your articles, nouns and the plural forms on a regular basis. Now, we will do another exercise where the student is supposed to write the correct article of the noun either in nominative or in accusative and also write the correct pronoun in nominative or accusative. Once the student writes the answers, we will see if the answers are right or wrong. Now, let us look at the answers given by the student. Is das Taxi here? Ja, es ist here. As you can see, the student by distinguishing that N requires neutral gender has written the correct article das for the noun Taxi and also wrote the correct pronoun S here. As you know that here both the noun as well as the pronoun are in nominative case. The answer given by the student therefore is correct. Kaufen Sie den Computer? Nein, ich kaufe ihn nicht. Here as you can see the student correctly distinguished that the noun is in masculine gender and also the noun is in accusative case and therefore wrote the correct article which is den and also wrote the correct pronoun which is in here. So the answer is correct. 
Esst ihr die Pizza? Nein, wir essen sie nicht. Here also the student wrote the correct article which is the for the noun pizza by looking at f which shows that the noun is belongs to the feminine gender and also wrote the correct pronoun which is z here. Kennst du das Hotel? Ja, ich kenne es. Here also student wrote the correct article and the pronoun both in accusative by correctly distinguishing the noun in the accusative case by looking at the marker n which shows that the new noun is in the neutral gender category. Nimmst du den Pullover? Nein, ich nehme ihn nicht. Here also the student wrote the correct article in accusative and the correct pronoun also in accusative by looking at the masculine gender marker m. Kauft ihr die Bücher? Ja, wir kaufen sie. Here the student correctly distinguished that the noun is in plural therefore wrote the correct article which is in D which is in accusative and also wrote the correct pronoun which is in accusative Z. So as you can see the student correctly distinguished the article and the case which is nominative or accusative and also wrote the correct pronoun in the respective answers for nominative or for accusative. Now in today's session we learned how nouns and pronouns are written in nominative and in accusative and the transformation which takes place only in the masculine gender where there becomes den, er becomes in and you also saw that there are no changes happening for the gender feminine and neutral as well as for plural article the. I hope you were able to learn the transformation of pronoun from nom nominative to accusative. Please learn all your nouns, your verb conjugations, plural forms and articles on a regular basis. If you do that, I can guarantee you that you would be able to learn German in a quick and easy manner. And as I always say, Auf Wiedersehen, Tschüss.